Easy Handle Show, I'm your host Katrina. For today's episode, I'm going to be sharing you with you some of the highlights at the Team Home Camp I went to this weekend, and then I'm going to be showing you my interview that I did with Joe and Corny at the camp. So, um, the camp started on Friday at around 4 o'clock, and definitely the highlight on Friday was the speech that Adam Kingsbury gave us. So, one of the exercises he had exercises he had us do was he asked us to start a dot that he put on the screen and for about a minute and we had to catch ourselves how many times we got distracted while staring at that dot because it is hard to keep focused just staring at the dot now some people who are really focused and intense can do it but some people can't so I thought that was really interesting so that was pretty cool and I, it was very interesting. So then on Saturday, bright and early, um, Earl Morris did a strategy session with us and he just taught us kind of the basics of strategy, what you should do in a tough scenario. And I thought that one was pretty good because who better to ask what strategy than Earl Morris, right? So I thought that was really cool. And then um, Team Holman and Brecca Lant helped us um, with our delivery. So they fixed a few um, errors in our delivery and made it a lot better. And I'm definitely more comfortable when I slide now. And we also worked on sweeping. Now, Joe and Corny, one of the best sweepers in the world, helped me with a new sweeping technique that I'm definitely going to be showing off this season. So I'm really excited for that. Um, yeah, and then at the end of the day, um, they did a Q&A and personal up close and Team Holman got to answer some questions that all the campers had for them, which I thought was awesome and I had a lot of fun and I got to learn a few more things that I didn't know and so did Brecalon, he answered a few as well. And then Sunday is the last day of the Team Holman camp, so what they did on that day is we really focused on draw weight because we had a shootout and shootout has no hits, it's only draws. So you need to get that draw weight down really easily. So we practiced that in the morning and then we did the shootout. So our team did not win, but we had a lot of fun, so that was Pretty cool. Um, and then Brett Gallant kind of taught us a little bit about growing up in PEI and what that was like because there's not a lot of competition in PEI so I thought that was also a cool story. So those are the highlights of the team homing camp. I had so much fun and I hope all those team homing juniors did too. Here's my interview with Joe and Courtney. Welcome back to the Lazy Handle Show. I'm your host Katrina. I'm here with Joanne Courtney at the Homeland Camp at the Ottawa Curling Club. So congratulations on baby Alex. Thank you so much. So what are the plans for this year? Do you plan on taking him on the road with you? Yeah, so at least until Christmas, the plan is for Alex to come, and I call it my entourage, because <laughs> you know, traveling with a baby is a little bit more complicated than traveling on your own. So I have a wonderful lady, her name's Lorraine, she'll be the nanny who will look after Alex when I'm on the ice, and then otherwise I just get lots of nice quality time with my little boy. He's so young, it's hard to imagine leaving it at home for now. So it's been nice talking to the women on tour because, uh, most of them are moms and they've gone through this so there's been lots of great advice and I'm really excited. Awesome. So I'm sure your team goals are to win the Scotties, win the Worlds, but do you have any personal goals and would you mind sharing? Yeah, so a big thing for me is after having a baby there's a recovery process that has to happen so being patient through that but the big goal is to get back to where I was with my sweeping before baby um, so that'll be a big focus for the first half of the season um, and then and just continuing on consistency and working on that touch game with the five rock rule coming into effect last year every single event I'm playing a lot more finesse as a second my whole position is is very different in five rock versus four rock so continuing to work on my weight control and uh, that touch game is going to be really big all right and 
And so you guys live in different cities, so you guys don't get to practice as a foursome too much. Do you think it hurts the team, or have you guys play together so much it doesn't really matter at this point? It certainly is not an advantage to live across the country. Uh, it would be wonderful if we could all live in the same place. It's just not really possible at this time. So we always take advantage of the time we have as a team, and we really try to make it high quality, very productive practice. So uh, we, we know that it's not really an option to all live in the same place right now, so we just try to make the most of it. And um, we try really hard to find those times where we can throw together the four of us. So for junior teams out there, if you all live in the same spot, it's a lot easier than if you're all spread out. Yes, for sure. <laughs> um, so this week is National Coaches Week. Is there a coach maybe in your junior days that really inspired you to get to where you are now that you'd like to give a little shout out to? Yes, of course. There's been so many people that we've worked with over the years, but I would say my very first curling coach when I joined the competitive team, his name was Reg Ryanhart. Uh, he worked at the Little Rocks and the junior programs at my home club, and he was the guy that said, hey, you're a decent slider, like we should do some bond spiels. And he was the guy that kind of got our first team together and started working on, you know, sliding straight and those fundamentals and curling. So shout out to Reg Ryanhart. Thank you so much for everything you did to help me along the way. So now we're going to do rapid fire, so I'm going to ask you a series of questions and you have to pick out one of the two options, intern or out turn? Intern. Red rocks or yellow rocks? Yellow rocks. Ten ends or eight ends? Eight ends. Five rock roll or six rock roll? Oh, five rock for now. <laughs> Heads or tails? Heads. And cats or dogs? Dogs. Um, hamburger or pizza? Oh, both? No? Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Thanks so much, Katrina. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed my interview with Joanne Courtney, and I'd like to thank her for giving her time to do that interview. And next week, I have another interview that I did with someone at the Team Homie Camp. So you should watch next week's episode to find out who that is, and make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye.